Yo. Hey, what up? What's going on? Alright, man. This video has been a long time coming. <laughs> I should have made this video years ago, really. Really, I should have made this years ago, but I never did. And I was just thinking, it's better late than never, you know? I might as well fucking make it, just because I need this video to exist on the internet. Like, it's actually important to me that there's some kind of explanation somewhere to explain some stuff for Kled. Because the game doesn't tell you that much about this champ. It's gotten better over the years, but at least in regards to his health, how health scaling works on him and against him, I feel like it's not very clear in the game. And there's like a lot of confusion around it. Like, it's probably one of the most common questions I ever get, uh, is people asking me about how does Kled's scaling work, how does his health work with max HP, bonus HP, missing HP, you know, with items, enemy champs moves that scale off of HP, like how does it work? Um, and also something that really, really gets commonly asked is like, you probably have already, if you wouldn't watch me stream or my YouTube videos over the years, like you've probably heard me say a million times, like, oh, I don't want to stack HP. I don't want to build too many HP items. Like, if I do, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna feed more, I'm gonna die faster. And then people will always ask me, like, well, why? You know, how does that make any sense? Like, you build more HP? Like, what do you mean building HP is gonna make it so you never remount? Like, how does that make sense? So I just want to make a video to explain, like, that. That specific idea of why I don't, why, why I tend to not build a lot of HP items, like more than one. Um, most games I don't build any HP right now, because uh, like a common build is like lethality. Lethality really strong at the moment. Um, but even when I do build HP, I tend to keep it to like one, maybe like two, depending on the game, uh, HP items uh, that is, like max. Uh, and I always try to keep it like under that, and I'll explain why in this video. I'm gonna try to keep it simple. You know, I'm gonna try not to go on for too long, because I have that kind of problem, but... Basically, before I, I s explain that, why I don't like to stack HP, I'll first explain how Kled's HP works very quickly. Um, this part is not too complicated. All you need to know is, you know, you load it to the game, Kled has his own HP, I got 410 right now. Skarl has her own HP, 500 with Doran, any Doran item. Or at least a Blade, Shield gives 10 more actually. Um, but whatever, you see here, Skarl, after you buy Doran item, she has a little bit more health than Kled. Um, but, you know, when you're in gameplay, your health bars are separate. You know, obviously, I only have access to Skarl's health right now, until I dismount, then I only have access to Kled's health. Of course, I can remount, get some of Skarl's health back. Like, in terms of gameplay, the health bars are separate. But as far as the rest of the game is concerned, I only have one health bar. My my max HP right now is 910. So anything that scales off of max HP, enemy max HP damage like Vayne W, you know, items that scale off max HP, um, it, it counts both my health bars added together as if I had one. So right now I have 910 max health. Um, you know, obviously if I buy Worst Titanic, uh, you know, it gives me 500 more. So I have, I have 1400 max health right now. This item, uh, it deals 3%, if you see there under where it says cleave, the second number. The cleave, it deals 3% of my max health. So I have 1400 health, so 3% of that is 42. Um, so yeah, you can just do the math and you can see that checks out, so that works correctly. And it's the same thing when you take max HP damage, so when you hit by like something that does 10% of my max HP right now, I have about 900 health, so I would take 90 damage from 10% max HP. Um, so the max HP part works just like that, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, missing HP works the same way, like I said, you're considered to have one health bar. So right now, like, even though I'm technically on full health, like, I have as much health as I could possibly have right now, because I'm 410 out of 410, uh, I'm still considered to be missing that 500 HP. So, you know, I'm missing 55% of my health. You can see I'm at 45% of my health right now. So if something, you know, any move that does more damage the lower you are, like, uh, you know, like Riven ults or like Briar, Briar's W, her bite, there's like a lot of missing HP moves in the game that do increased damage the more you're missing. 
you know, I'm missing 55% of my health right now. I'm missing, you know, 500 health. So I'm going to take a lot of damage from missing HP. And, you know, I'm still taking a lot of damage from max HP because I still, the game, you know, like I said before, it still considers me to have 900, about 900 max health right now. So if I take something that does 10% max health, it's still going to do 90. You know, even though my health bars are separated. Um, so, you know, generally percent HP damage hurts Kled a lot because of this. Um, you know, because your health bars are separate, but they're taking damage as if they were one. Um, so that's why, you know, you always hear me and other people say percent damage always shits on Kled. That's generally the idea. The only thing that could be a little confusing, you know, the max HP missing HP thing, I feel like it's pretty straightforward. Uh, but the way bonus HP specifically works on Kled, people get that mixed up a lot because, um, you know, it worked one way for a while and then there was like a whole season that it worked a different way. And then they changed it back to the old way, so, you know, there's like, there's like confusion around that. People get that mixed up, especially because there's like a lot of guides and, you know, things that are online still that have like outdated information that haven't been changed. And also people who played, you know, back when it worked differently and they didn't realize that I got changed back, for example, but the way bonus HP works now, it's really simple. It just works like every other champ in the game. So don't overcomplicate it. Just think about how it works with every other champ. As in, right now I have, well, I have Doran Blades. I have 100 bonus health. But if I sold it, like, you know, even though I have two separate health bars, Scarl has 400, you know, I have no bonus HP right now. I have zero. So if I, anything that scales off of bonus HP, like for example, Sunfire Cape, uh, is only bonus HP scaling. It says here, if you shift hover it, um, you know, I don't have any bonus HP, so I don't get any kind of added benefit from this, you know, besides the 450 that it gives me itself. Um, it's 20. It's 1.7, 1.8%. 450. Yeah. And there's, there's only a couple enemy moves that scale off of, uh, your bonus HP. Like, set ultimate. Um, you know, Lee Sin ultimate, if he kicks you into your teammates, it does extra damage based on the target's bonus HP. Um, but yeah, like I said, you only have bonus HP from stuff that you buy and from your runes. Uh, just like every other champ. So, you know, th this is all bonus HP. Um, so there's no kind of special interaction there. So, you know, you don't have to get confused over that. Um, so I just had to explain that part. So, like, the next part, the main part of the video makes more sense. Um, but yeah, basically you, you might not know this. I feel like a lot of people are surprised by this, especially if you're new to Kled, uh, or if you're like newer to him and you're somebody who builds like full HP items every game, um, you might not notice, but like as Kled gains levels, you'll start to see that like slowly Kled starts to get more HP than Skarl gets per level. But you can see like already right now I'm already I'm only level eight and I'm already starting to get a little bit more health on Kled like a tiny bit uh, than Scarl has you know I'm 20 health over her about right now but like once you get to max level you actually have over 300 or excuse me you have about 300 uh, more health than Scarl with no HP items so if you have literally no HP items which for me is pretty common because like I said you know lethality is pretty strong so like this would be like a common build for me. You know, I have zero HP items, so... Kled actually has a little bit more HP than Skarl. So, what that means is, like... You know, what I said earlier about taking max HP damage... You know, right now I have... 1500 plus 1800, so I have 3300 health. So, if something were to do 10% of my max health, let's say... 10% of 3300... Would be 330. So, if I took 330 damage mounted... Right? Like, I would be at 1,200 health. If I took 330 damage dismounted, I'd still be at 1,500. So because Kled, with no HP items, has more health than Skarl, anytime I take max HP damage, it will actually shred through Skarl's HP bar faster than it would kill dismounted Kled. Uh, if that makes sense, because, the, you know, these are not evenly split. Kled has a bigger chunk of HP, a bigger percentage of HP of the total uh, than Skarl has right now. So anytime I'm taking max HP damage, you know, Skarl is going to die really fast because she has a smaller percentage of health. Kled will actually die a little bit slower, which is good because obviously you have the whole gimmick of remounting and going untargetable again, uh, you know, and resetting your cooldowns. Like, 
you know that that's the preferred way if you had to choose which health bar was going to die first or die faster of course you'd rather have scarl's health go away first because you can just get her back and you're not going to die uh, compared to if Kled is the one getting shredded faster you know you're just dead you just don't even get a chance to remount um so for example like this is with no hp items now like if you think about well actually before i do that let me just show you well it doesn't matter what items i have but let me just show you if i dismount you can see if i ping my health bar right now i'm at now i'm over half my health i'm 54 percent so i just want to show that so like if i if i take damage like i said earlier about the missing hp moves like briar w or like execute moves um, i'm over half my health right now so i'm not that close to getting executed i'm not missing that much hp uh, in comparison to before when i was 45 percent so under half health um but now i'm sure you can already probably see where this is going but let's say i build a bunch of hp items like i see like a, a type like this build really often this is what made me want to make the videos because this type of build started becoming like more common again i feel like like just building all hp with the new items uh, which is something people you know used to do a lot and then it kind of died out for a bit like people started gravitating excuse me gravitating more towards like ad pen items uh, but now with the new season items i'm seeing a bit more people playing clay and they're building like this like just all hp items like this like first of all this build is not good on any champion uh, because you don't want to stack all hp with like no resist because there's so much percent hp damage in the game both from champion abilities like vein uh, like you know jace e like whatever there's like a lot of abilities that do percent damage but then there's items like eclipse eclipse has eight percent max health you know there's blade of the ruin king there's a percent of your current health 12 percent on auto you know leandre's is really strong right now that does two percent max health per second so the six percent and then there's ramping damage i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of percent damage in the game you know there's stuff like this that deal more damage the more health the enemy has than you you know there's runes like cut down like there's, there's just a lot of percent damage in the game so just in general this type of build is not good but especially with cled like i said you probably already know what i'm gonna say but like now looking at my health bar you can see i'm of course i still have 1800 on cled but now i have 4100 <laughs> on fucking scarl so now if i take max hp damage let, let's just round it out. I have about 2,004. I have about 6,000 max health right now, just to make it simple. I have around 6,000 max HP. So if I was going to take 10% of my health, I would take 600 damage, right? So if I take 600 damage when I'm at 4k, that's not too bad, right? Like, I'm chilling. Like, I still got 3,400 health left. But if I take 600 damage as dismount cled, again, max HP, I'm always going to take the same max HP damage because his health bars are counted as one. 600 HP now is a third of my health, you know, as Dismount Kled. That's a much bigger chunk. So now everything I said before about Scarl's health being, you know, the one that gets shredded first, now everything is reversed. So now whenever I'm mounted, I'm, I, you know, I'm taking less damage or like a smaller percentage of my of my health. But when I'm dismounted, you know, I'm, I'm instantly getting fucked by anything. Anything that does percent damage, I'm gone, you know. For, like as an example i'm gonna tab out for a second and show you some moves just to give you an example of some stuff that are like common to run into uh hold on let me get rid of this nq message but for example let me tell you about an ability called thundering blow this is jace's e i have a couple examples but this does only percent damage it actually has no base damage it just does a percent of their target's health uh plus it has ad scaling but as you can see here, this shit at max rank, just 22% of the target's max health. And this is not even counting his items, item procs, like runes, his AD. All that's ignored right now. So just imagine, but imagine he has nothing else. And I take 22% of my max health right now. You know what would happen to me, dude? Let me tell you what would happen. Like I said, let's say I round it to 6,000 max HP. So 20%, 22%, that's about what, like 13, a little over 1300, close, closer to 1400. Uh, and you know, now I have, that's 1400 damage out of 1800 health that I have. And then of course you add his AD, his items, his runes. I'm dead. Like that's it. He point and click one shot you right there. And that's only because I built all these HP items. So it's counting all the Skarl's HP that I don't have access to, of course, because all your bonus HP only goes to Skarl. 
So I'm just dead. And that's from just a max HP ability. You know, like I said, I'm pinging this now with all this HP and you can see I'm at, and now I'm at 31% of my health. So again, with the missing HP type of moves, um, which there's a lot of, but like, here's another example, like Riven Ultimus is something you're, you commonly run into. I'm, I mainly try to pick like champs, like top junglers that you're going to fight a lot. Um, but for example, there's a lot of moves like this that deal increased damage the more health the target's missing. So Riven Ultimate does up to 200% more damage, uh, you know, based on how much health you're missing. The, you know, the most damage it can do is when you're at 75% missing health. Um, so like I said, I'm at 30% health right now. Full, this is the most health I can have as Dismount Clad. I'm already missing 70% of my health. So she's basically doing the maximum 200% increased damage to me, very close to. You know, she autos me once and then ours. That's it, I'm, that's, you're dead, you know? And that's not counting any of the other AD uh, or items or runes or whatever. So, you know, I, I feel like it's like self-explanatory, but then there's, there's even more type of things in the game that only work at like thresholds. Uh, for example, like Evelyn Ultimate does not do more damage the lower you are but it just does increase damage if you're at a certain threshold. So Evelyn Ult, it only crits you once you're at or below 30% of your max health. Uh, here's another example of Echo W. You know, Echo W, once you're under 30% max health, he starts a dealing a percent of your missing health. Um, so these are just a couple examples. And like, again, I, like I said, I'm at 31% right now. So I'm basically, as soon as I dismount, Evelyn Ultimate is one percent off of critting me and you're not gonna survive that like especially with like a build like this like you're you're a hundred percent dead um and you know compare that to if i had no hp now obviously i'm i'm squishy don't get me wrong but like uh well i still have the iron but but like you know right now i'm at 50 percent, so i'm nowhere close to being you know executed i'm i'm, I'm 20 over 20 percent off like, I'm chilling right now. And, like, of course, if something else chunks me and then she ults me, it's different. But, you know, there's, there's also, like, new stuff in the game right now. Like, uh, Shadow Flame. If you haven't seen this item, Shadow Flame, it's, you know, it's good stats. It's expensive. It's an AP item. But, basically, it starts critting you for all magic and true damage once you're under 35%. Like, again, there's, like, a lot of stuff like this in the game. Like, I'm showing example after example. I could, I could go on forever. Because there's like a million shit like this in the game. But this is like a new example, so I feel like it's more relevant. Um, but yeah, once you're under 35% health, now you start getting crit by magic and true damage. So again, with no HP items, I'm at 54% health right now. You know, I'm completely fine. I'm not even close to getting crit. But, you know, if I went, you know, Cleaver, Sterix, Titanic... You know, this is like a build I, I see like all the time. Like recently, every time I see a random clip player, you know, let's say I go boots, like they go like all HP items. Like obviously max HP is shitting on me right now, but if I'm dismounted, I'm at 37%. Well, that's without the iron, but so now I'm at 35%. AKA I'm getting, I'm getting crit right now. This is the most HP I can have as dismount clad right now. And this is not even full build, so it'd be worse if I bought another HP item. Um, but like, even right there, I was already at 35%. Now I'm under 35%, so I'm, I'm instantly getting crit. The second I land off Scarl, I'm getting crit by Shadow Flame. You know, you're getting executed by, you know, Riven ult, Garen ult, you know, whatever. Anything that does missing HP damage. Um, and also, not to mention, like, you, gotta be tough. you also have to think... Like, what is even the point of building all this HP in the first place when half the time you're going to be dismounted? Whenever you're dismounted, <clears throat> excuse me, whenever you're dismounted, you don't have any access to any of this health. So all that gold you just spent does nothing. Anytime you're dismounted, it does nothing. I mean, besides it gives me titanic damage. Um, but, like, I don't, it doesn't help me at all compared to, like, AD, Pen, Haste, Crit, like, you know, all these other stats I could buy. Resist. Resist is really strong on Kled. Um, because he has a high total HP, like, it helps it make it more effective, uh, which is true for any champ, but, like, Kled just has high total HP because of the two health bars. Um, 
But yeah, like, what is even the point of this HP? Because yeah, one, I don't have access to it when I'm dismounted. Um, and two, like, you, you might be like, oh, but I need a tank for my team. I need to frontline. But like, what is the point of doing that on Kled when you're always going to take, like, you're always using this HP less efficiently than like an actual tank or like a juggernaut would because your health bars are separated. You know, like I said earlier about like taking max HP damage, if I if I take 10% of my max HP right now, I have how much health? I have like about almost 6k health. Um, you know, if I take 10% of that, I take 600 damage. So it's like I have a lot of total HP, but because you only have access to one health bar at a time, you're never getting the full use out of all that HP. If you understand what I'm saying, like I'm never able to use all the HP at once. So anytime I'm taking max HP damage or missing HP damage, it's going to shit on his health bar separately anyway. So it's like all this HP together, it's not as efficient as if I was an actual tank, you know, and I had actual tank abilities. Like, for example, a good tank like Ornn, you know, something that makes Ornn a good tank, um, besides him having, like, you know, good base damage. He has max HP damage, like, good base amounts in his kit. Um, but he also just gets more armor and MR and health just for existing like that's just his passive he just gets a bonus armor health mr you know like for all the hp armor mr he buys he gets more he gets more of a percentage uh, on top of his items of course you know poppy gets bonus resist and then more when she's low she has a shield um you know scion has an hp scaling shield like you know tank actual tanks have things that make them tanky on top of their utility you know so like Kled, he obviously doesn't have any utility Besides, I guess you can speed up your team, which is not really, you know, com compared to like having AOE CC or whatever. Um, he doesn't have anything that makes him any tankier. His whole survival mechanic is the dismount, which all it is is just anti-burst, you know, because he, he wants to be going in bursting himself. Um, so it just helps him not get one shot. And then, he, you know, he has the remount. But, you know, when you're building to like tank to like frontline, you know, you're, you're not really providing anything. You know, he has like a tiny bit of single target CC, but for the most part, he's all completely damage focused. You know, everything I just said about why, you know, I tend to build full damage, like that's only, um, that's only half the story, you know, excuse me, my music's out. <clears throat> but that's only half the story. Like, I also build heavy damage because his AD ratios are really high. Like, Kled has plenty of problems, but something that's not a problem with him at all is his AD scaling. Like, Kled has great really high bonus ad scaling um and that's bonus ad only so your base ad your, your your total doesn't matter as much as you know you have to actually build ad you have to go out of your way to buy it um like you can see his cled q mounted it does 65 percent bonus ad on the first hit and it is 130 percent on the second hit so this shit does 200 percent of your bonus ad you know, if you hit both parts, his W is max health damage, but it scales off of AD. You know, it does 6.5% max health at max rank, rank 5. Um, so you don't even need to be level 18. But with how much AD I have with this build, it's doing 22%. <laughs> so it's like, excuse me, 16% more max health. Like, that's a, that's a fucking big difference, you know, 6%, 22%. That's a big difference. You know, his E does 130% if you hit both parts, because 65% each. You know, his R does a bunch of max health damage. Dismount Q. Have you ever seen Kled's Dismount Q? I'm going to show it on. I'm going to tab out and show it for a second. People always tell me, like, bro, your Kled Dismount Q, I've never seen it do that much damage. And I'll tell you why. His Dismount Q, I think, has one of the worst base damages in the entire game. It, it has jack shit for base damage. It does 171 if you hit every single bullet on a target, it has no base damage. All it has is AD scaling, AD scaling 144%, which is pretty good. So it only does damage if you build a lot of AD. So when you're building like a health focused build and you have no pen, not, not as much AD, you just have a bunch of health. I mean, you can get a good amount of AD with like a, a health build, but you're never gonna be able to use it because you're gonna die instantly to anything that does max health damage or missing health damage. You're dying so fast every time you dismount. You'll you'll never get the remount off un unless you're against all champions that, you know, don't have it. So, you know, you just have to be able to look at their team and you need to be able to identify what champs deal what kind of percent damage or execute damage 
or what items deal it, you know, because they might not do percent them damage themselves, but they might build Eclipse, they might build the Andres, they might build Lord Dominic's, you know, and now, you know, there's even support items that deal fucking max HP damage, like Mandate does 12% current health. And then they have the fucking Zazox, whatever, Revenge, Realm Spike. That shit does 3% every max. Like, even supports have it. Like, everybody has it, bro. It's all over the game, which is why I'll always, you know, you hear me say so much. I don't want to stack HP, you know. It's just going to make me die too fast. I'm never going to remount. You know, that's why. So I just, just wanted to make this video because I just wanted, like I said earlier, I just wanted this to be on the internet somewhere because I feel like it's not readily available information. And something that I get asked a lot, and I feel like it's not really intuitive, like, I mean, it makes sense, but I just feel like if you're new to Kled, and you see he has, like, oh, he has all this health, so you might think, oh, I should buy more health. Um, and you're not, you're not realizing that, like, how much you're hurting yourself. So then, like, when you're playing and you're like, why the fuck am I dying so fast? I, I can never remount, like, that's... I mean, this is a better build than I had before, honestly. This resist the heavy build. But, people, yeah, people would not realize why they're dying so fast. Like, I, they can never get their remount off. They're like, man, I wish my remount was invincible because I keep hearing the animation. And it's like, where you don't realize how much percent health damage you're taking. Um, but I, I hope that made sense. I hope that wasn't, like, too confusing. I feel like it's pretty simple. It's just that it's not something that's really explained in the game. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't really tell you how you take damage anywhere or how items work with you. Um... E even this description is kind of kind of weird. Kled's bonus health. Kled doesn't have any bonus health. It should say it should say Scar. It should say your items. It doesn't even it doesn't even explain that part. Um, but whatever. Like I said, I hope I hope this video made sense. I hope it was just somewhat clear. And, and you know, like I said, it doesn't mean you should never build HP. Like that's not what I'm trying to tell you. Like you should only build full damage. Um, because, yeah, you might be against champs that don't deal much percent HP damage. You know, you might be against Darius. Darius doesn't have any percent damage. Um, you know, and he might be building, you know, a normal, a normal Darius build has no percent damage. He has, like, Cleaver, Sterix, full tank. You know, maybe their ADC is Ezreal, and he goes like Cyril does, so he doesn't have Lord Doms, he doesn't go Bork, uh, every game. So, you know, you might be against champs that don't deal that much percent damage so then in that case you can get away with some hp you can go titanic edge of night you, know, you can go a couple hp items um you just don't want to be building so much that anytime you are dismounted and something percent related hits you you don't just disappear you know um but yeah i think that's about it i feel like it's some i feel like i summed it up enough anything i could say a lot more but anything else is like you know it's like situational stuff um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to make this video just to have, like, this kind of explanation out there. If there's anything else you can think of for Kled, um, like, things that might be confusing or you, you feel like are not explained well anywhere, you can tell me about it. I would definitely be open to making a video about it. Um, but yeah, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps at least one person. Peace for now. I'll probably make more videos like this if I can think of more things. Uh, but yeah, have a good one. Thanks for watching.